Alright, welcome back to part 3 of Super Mario Bros. 3. Let's finish up World 3. I'll get the shroom out of the way. Yeah, shrooms are good. Yeah, yeah the contents might help you on your way. It could. <laughs> Another frog suit. Woo! Even though we're almost done with this area. Kind of funny. Uh, we're gonna end up with extra frog suits. This gets... Ooh. You want to match that one. Pop. Oh! I think it would be like the... the Star. Here's one. Bottom. Yep. There we go. Mushroom. There's one here. No. Nope. No. Mushroom. Mushroom. Patcher, 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 patcher. Mushroom. Mushroom. Now, what's across on the boat? Um, a bunch of mushroom houses and spade cards. You want to bother using it? We do have a hammer. We can Are get you those. gonna bother doing that? Might as well. Like we only get good power ups from that. Do it to it. So let's see. Scroll so down. Oh, okay. Crunch. There we go. That's our second hammer. Crunch, munch, crunch, munch. Gotta have, have my, my pops. pops. <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? Would you hop on one foot? Sure. Would you? Would you kill a man? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do for a clown like that? Ah! Mario! You put a star on top of my head! It looks more like a crown. It's a tiara. It's a tiara? He's a princess. As long as he's a princess, not one of those toddlers and tiaras. He is Princess know. Toadstool. Actually, he's just Princess Toad. Toad is officially a princess now. And that's all Toad will ever amount to is being a princess. He will never be queen because he is not worthy of being the queen. He's also a guy. So? That's besides the point. <laughs> I think there was a couple more at the top. What I'm saying is he, can, he yeah. can never be a true ruler. He doesn't. He, he doesn't have the ability to lead. I mean, how many, how many of them did you re like end up rescuing in the first Mario? That's the thing. He, I, I I mean, but to that point, they don't the, want to be leaders. The, the princess can't be a leader either. She's, but you know what? She just she's just doing it for the hot dinosaur turtle dink. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's that? Whoa. Can't get there from here. That's that's the castle. We gotta finish the levels to get to the fortress castle thing. You need people of intelligence for this sort of mission. Oh, that's right. The castle's not over yet. Yeah. Quest. All right. Thing. You know, think about it. Like I say, Toad will never amount to actually being queen or, or king for that matter. But does does he want to? No. I think he's more interested in just helping people than huh. being in charge. You can hate those guys. They are, like, really ugly, too. They, they're not just, like, annoying, they're what, ugly. What is up with their lips? I don't know. They've got, like, dog lips. Their ears are like dog ears. Maybe they are dogs. <laughs> Green, funny-looking dogs with shells. Oh, Brian! Your ears are like dog ears! Ah. Oh! Hey! Ah. That was good timing. You you lost it and got it back all in one go. Yeah, you could have gotten something better. Like a, a freaking leaf. It's a freaking leaf. Leaf. Why don't you get like. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> okay, Biff. Uh, you, I'm gonna waste it. I'm gonna yeah, he's it. wasted. I'm wasted, man. My freaking head, man. I'm so wasted. Quite bog street, man. I hope they don't get my dealer, man. <laughs> Woohoo! Swim, swim, swim! I hate the potaboos. Swim, Mario, swim! Do, do, do. You're oh, on fire! Great. You know. I got, oh, great. I've got a little question for you, Mario. How is it that you can be on fire and you go underwater and you're still on fire? I don't understand. 
Thermite. Oh! Wait, he's fulminated Thermite mercury. mercury. Fulminated mercury? <laughs> That's not meth. <laughs> it's fulminated mercury. And if I throw this down, we're all gonna be dead. Except for me after after a quick little <laughs> cut. None of us. Oh. There we go. And unlock. And pop go to Weedle. <laughs> go to Weedle go Maybe pop. better take nine, right? Yeah. Yep. We got an eight are we nine. Still, are we even doing that? Yep. Oh yeah. That's the whole point of this playthrough. Yep. Is to play it through. Okay. Hey, these boxes actually look more boxy. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's right. This this is this level. This the is the really annoying one. Really large up and down motion. It's the uh, it's the motion of the ocean. <laughs> it's the motion of the ocean, man. Ah, right, this is bullshit. I'm gonna go slip into something sexy. Ooh. Scoot over, goddamn. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. You got eaten by a fish! He ate your sorry ass. Yes, he did. <laughs> I don't even need any big power. Just don't let me be tiny right now. I didn't think that fish could eat you if you had the power up, but he did. Yep. Oh! <laughs> 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 I got eaten immediately! Oh, good times, good times. And, like, you remember that time when I got eaten by a fish? Immediately? Like, immediately after starting the level? Like, zoinks! 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 Immediately? Like, zoinks, Scoob! They found Casey Kasem, you know. Eh? They found Casey Kasem, I guess he's crazy. Casey Kasem? He's going crazy? Yep, like yeah. <sighs> like, zoinks, Scoob! I'm, I'm a little bit nuts! I did a little too much of that pot! Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, remember he like disappeared a few weeks ago? Yeah! And they found I him and I guess happened. now he's like been admitted to like an institution or something. He's like completely gone haywire. Yeah, like, I'm glad at least he's still alive. I was a little worried, but um, that's kind of... I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect him to be crazy. Kind of disturbing, actually. I expected more likely to be foul <laughs> play. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it, bitch! Eat it, just eat it. Eat it. Oh, as soon as as, as soon as you start like getting all start. all penisy start. about it, <laughs> he said penisy. I've got a penis. Hmm? No, thank you. What's that? Oh, some of that. Some, bro. I'm I I'll dabble. Dabble. I'll dabble a little. Dibble dabble room. Dibble dabble room. Breaking out some of the uh, Alki. Alka Seltzer? Alka Seltzer? I hate that stuff. Pop Pop Fizz like Fizz. Oh, whatever it is. Alka Seltzer actually makes me feel worse. Yeah. I use that when I have my migraine. Really? I mean, it's it, a lot better. I'm sorry. Giving yourself gas to feel better? I don't. I don't understand it. Actually, usually, like I say, it just usually makes me feel worse. It just doesn't do anything. It's supposed to neutralize the acid. It doesn't help me. Mmm! Suck it, bitch! Hey, you actually did it! Acid, man! Now find a way to lose right here, even though there's no way to do it. I, But you didn't, so, oh well. It's because I am the master! <laughs> it's become a recurring theme. It is the a theme. The pop! The pop goes up! Woohoo! Woohoo! Wait a second, that's Mario 64 and Mario goes flying out of the cannon, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wow. Or when he gets kicked out of the uh, paintings. Yeah, well, yeah. Already have glasses. I does. A couple small glasses. You got enough of those things breaking, and then the Nintendo slows down severely. Too many sprites on screen at one time. Oh. You know, there is an 8 bit system that I do actually like a lot more as far as its capabilities. Small yeah. And, well, yes, 
I will admit, yes, the Master System is included in 8-bit systems with better capabilities. I'm talking about the TurboGrafx-16. 8-bit system. Not really 16. But let me ask you this. Those gigantic sprites in the Bonk series. That's good. How many even 16-bit systems did those giant sprites? So what is this stuff? Masculine! Masculine! What's it root from? Ah! It's gonna be smokier than the tequila. Wait a second! Never have tequila. Every time! Yes! Every time! Every time! Every time! It, I am it always is, the one! It is just. You get to read it out! Oh, it's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> and you get to do a different voice each time. Please find the masculine so we can change him back! Actually, I think the king was humping the throne. Wow. That's very smoky. Smoke on the water. Fire in the sky! Because Frank's out the mother, and the mother's had the best place ah! around. And i almost getting myself killed. Yes. You won my Scottish kill. Are you brainless? <laughs> How am I supposed to not die? I'm still tiny! <coughs> um, uh, it's ah, supposed to go the other way. I know, but I'm having a hard time getting up here. Ah, screw it. Screw the screw! <laughs> I don't want the screw anymore. I just like these fires. Come on, baby, light my, my fire. fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Let's put it this way, there was no way you were gonna survive against Wendy. No, but still that you fruit bat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wrench. Worst possible a, way to die. Freaking little wrench! Choke me out! It's just a wrench! The last wrench. I was Yeah, look at though, the king the king! The king is humping the throne! What the hell is humping the throne? <laughs> you have to go chase the airship now. Oh, yeah. No, you have to go chase the airship. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hurry! Hurry! Okay, that's right. Get the back one from Koopa! Get him on that call. Get I'm your ice cream here. I don't control the movie. I've got these animal urges. I can't help it. <laughs> you know, I think I think the king has a severe problem. Throne humping. There is a cure for it. Here. I'm not sure you want to know the cure. Oh, does it does it hurt? It involves death. Does it hurt? <laughs> it depends on, on how how you get killed, I suppose. Does it hurt? Uh if if I give you a bullet directly to the head, you might not even notice. You just drop dead. That might not be so bad. But on the other hand, if it's like a slow bleed, like, you know, you get maybe oh say get your organs pulled out one by one, that might be more painful. Does it hurt? Many, many, many of your organs actually don't have uh, nerves. It's not the organs that are the problem, it's getting to the organs is what's painful. Think about it. Mm. Getting in through all those lucky getting places in through the, the skin. Outdoor. Now see, if I was smart, I would have done that. Yes. But you see, in the but end, it doesn't matter. matter. They do chase you. But good luck dodging the rings. Oh! Wow! Yes. First ring! Wow! Wow! Wendy! Nice. The Magic Koopa! Wendy, Fireballs, that, bitch! Wendy is absolutely magical. She is, but she's a bitch. She's just, like, really, really mean. She wants to kill Mario. I mean, who wants to kill who Mario? Who wants to kill Mario? Aside from Bowser's school? Yeah, actually, you're right, she does. Yeah, that's why she's always letting herself get kidnapped. Well, actually, it's not kidnapping because she's willing. That's the problem. She actually, you see, what it is, is she's, she doesn't want to make Mario feel too bad, so, like, when he, whenever he, like, actually goes in and, like, hurts anyone oh, or kills anyone, oh, yes, that's she won't mastery. complain. She won't complain. But in reality, the problem is, 
no one wants to admit it. Bowser is actually a nice guy. He's nicer than Mario. He is. He, he knows how to treat his women right. It's not just that. He treats everyone well, except for Mario and Luigi. Well, what do you Why do you think all these people are trying to defend him? All these characters are defending him. Because he does well for them. Get away from me, bitch. Ring! <laughs> ring! <laughs> oh! Oh, you fucking bitch! Oh, you fucking bitch! Oh, yes, that's right! That's right! Who's your fucking daddy? That's right, right here. Oh, give me some of that. It's mm. the giant little snacks, right? Yes, my oh, favorite. Geez. Hey! Oh, thank heavens! I'm back to my own self again! Thank you so much! Here's a letter from the princess! <laughs> he looks a little bit like George Jefferson. He actually kind of looks like a black Mario. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. Heaven claims the jewel that helps protect you! Princess Toadstool. And yes, you see, the princess has uh, gone kind of raspy. Go in, the, go in the one down at the bottom. What are you doing? Why do I suddenly feel like I'm in Vegas? <laughs> what did he just do? He used the music box. He used the music Why? box. I like this music. Oh, look, the Turtle Brothers. The, the, the Hammer Brothers are sneaks. Well, let's yeah, go and do gonna... something. Let's go and do something. <laughs> We've gone and ended this Let's Play in a hurry. <laughs> That's not where you want to go. <laughs> use the other pipe, dimwit. It uses the bubble pipe. Mm -hmm. Bubble bobble? Bubble bobble. Bubble bobble. Bubble bobble. Bubble bobble. A boy? Bubble Bobble is related to uh, actually a whole series of games so spun off. Yes. There's the, the Bust and Move series. I love Bust and Move. also Puzzle Bobble. You know, depending on how you do it. And, uh, it's, it's a whole. You know, it's, yeah, it's a man whole, child actually, might actually end this. It's a whole good series. And then you also have like Rainbow Islands. The he idiot bastard son! <laughs> <laughs> You had uh, Parasol Stars and Rainbow Islands. And yes. There were actually quite a few games. I love the Bust Move games. Some of my favorite puzzles. Only one problem. Those games, to me at least, seem like way too short. They're ultimately super addictive. Yes. I do have Bust Move 2 for the PlayStation. You know, why didn't we just call them Puzzle Bobble in this country like they did in Japan? No, that's my thing. Because we have to name things stupidly. And you know what the result of that was in this country? Confusion. Because there was a game in Japan called Bust a Move. Yep. That in this country is named Bust a Groove. Because we took the name and gave it to something else. Yep. Don't understand it. Before I actually played Bust a Move, I thought it was a dance game. Well, that's because the actual Bust a Move is a dance game. Yeah. It's kind of like we played games with the name of the Final Fantasy games and changed the order. Oh, don't even get me started on that. There's still people today that, like, when they say Final Fantasy 3, you have to ask them, okay, do you mean Final Fantasy 6 or Final Fantasy 3? I don't know! I think I mean 3. Because when I, when I say 3, I mean 3. No, I would think you would. This is actually, to me, ah, stupid me. This, to uh -huh. me, is an example of the NES doing a pretty good job with large sprites. Absolutely. It's a gimmick, but it's a damn fun game. <laughs> I jumped right into it because I'm kind of stupid that way sometimes. You, you jumped right into its jowls. But you see, the, 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 the large sprite thing, like I was saying earlier, though, the uh, system the system that really trying. did the best at that was the TurboGrafx-16. Giant sprites. You can much fill the screen with a sprite, and it won't slow down. Yes. Well, that's the only system I've seen do that good of a job with it, because other systems I see at least some slowdown. I need to get a TurboGrafx-16 so I can do a proper Let's Play of Rondo of Blood. Ooh. I've already done a Rondo of Blood Let's Play, but it was a PSP remake, and it wasn't of the original version. It was of the stupid PSP remake version. 
PSP. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a good remake, but uh, the, the original version is so much better. The original version was for a system that in this country just didn't do as well as it should have. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, the PC Engine was a great system, whereas we don't Turbo Graphics 16. I think it was a. I think it's actually the best 8 bit system there is, and in some ways better than some of the actual 16 bit oh, systems. <laughs> <laughs> that was and exactly and what I completely wanted. underrated, too. I still. I do still find it quite funny, <laughs> though. <laughs> Turbo Graphics 16 is yes. 8 bits. Whereas the Intellivision is 16 bit. The Intellivision, yes! System with graphics a little bit better than the uh, Atari VCS, aka 2600, is actually a 16-bit system. And yet, the NES and even the Turbo Graphics are 8-bit, and completely blown out of the water. So, folks, don't let the number of bits sway your decision on any system, please. Unfortunately, everything's going to. That's just how it works. That's just how people roll. It's like, how many people even realize that the games on the N64, a, yes, it's a 64-bit CPU, those games 32 are 32-bit code! <laughs> they are 32-bit code. And, and you know what? More powerful central processing unit, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the, uh, I'm sorry, the Nintendo 64, as good as it was, it paled in comparison by the time you got to the end of that cycle compared to what the PlayStation was able to do. Funny thing, CPU-wise, actually, the PlayStation was weaker, but it had a better graphical processor. Yep. Not because, I mean, admittedly, it had some issues as far as texture warping and everything, but Sony actually put more effort into getting the polygon count higher. It, Sony designed the PlayStation from the ground up to be a 3D system. The 64, actually, the Nintendo 64, funny thing about that, if what I've read is true, the sprite-based games actually did using 3D rendering to get the 2D graphics. Kind of a funny way to do it. <laughs> and that is weird. Because it, it wasn't a traditional sprite-based system. But it was, I mean, it was basically... That and PlayStation both were basically silicon graphics computers. Yep. They used the MIPS processors that were used in the silicon graphics. Uh, Indigo series, <laughs> the uh, Iris Indigo, the Indy, the Indigo 2, they used those things. Both great consoles. Consoles that, you know, to me were next to the last of what to me were the real greats. I admittedly, I don't have that much problem with the newer systems, but the last system that I truly fell in love with was the Dreamcast. And that, unfortunately, was ahead of its time. And it was ahead of its time, and oh, actually... Oh, you were like you did not land on that thing. <laughs> technically, the funniest thing about it... I thought you could land Texture memory-wise? No, not on those. Ow! Oh! I thought because they were upside down. I don't think you can. Texture memory-wise, the Dreamcast really gave the PlayStation to a good run for its money. But a little bit of nice infighting over at Sega kind of meant that Sega of Japan didn't even want the Dreamcast to succeed because it was a Sega of America invention. Yeah. Not good. So they kind of killed it off, even though they still had a large fan base. They, they heard the specs for the PlayStation 2 come out and everything. And they were like, oh, 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 we can't compete with that. But part of it really was just the infighting. Sega of Japan versus Sega of America. They just didn't want to try. Pity, too, because, I mean... You'll, you'll look at, <laughs> you'll look at some of those, I almost fell. You look at some of the Dreamcast games compared to some of the early PlayStation 2 games, and actually, the, in some cases, the Dreamcast games looked better, because the PlayStation 2, while partially due to programming issues, had resolution-related issues. Whoops. <laughs> it's upside down. Jump on it. Yeah, I don't want to try. <laughs> I, I honestly, I think you do get hurt when you jump on those upside-down ones. I think you do also. Because they're still, Go for whatever ahead. reason, they're still considered they spiky. Spiky wikey! Spiky wikey! Ah, spiky wipey! Oh no. Hey! He actually got I mean, I, when I, got I obviously don't have any issue with modern consoles. I own a freaking PlayStation 4, but, you know, I'm at a stage right now with my PS4 where it's like, where are the games? Like, where are the, like, 
the next gen games. There haven't, other than Infamous Second Son, which I haven't played yet, there haven't been any like real next gen games that have come out. Yeah. And it's like it, the where we've gone away from the time where like when we were younger, where a new console would come out and it was like leaps and bounds above what had come before. It's just not that way anymore. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the changes in the consoles now are a lot more subtle. It's kind of like driving a Lamborghini instead of the uh, the Batmobile. Much more subtle. I'd rather have a Batmobile. I'd rather have a Hulk. Actually, no, I'd, I'd prefer a Batmobile. Who wouldn't? That would be Catwoman. Great. Ah! <laughs> I ran into the flame. <laughs> I ran into the flame. Yeah, if you had a Yoshi, you could eat those. Yes, you could. Yoshi? This is too early in the series. No, it isn't. Now, does anybody else realize that the island that you're on is shaped like a turtle? Ah, I never uh, thought about that before. See, that's the head we're on right now. Actually, like we're on its neck. I just like the fact that the flowers dance. It's Disco Flower! I think we disco need dance. I think we need some Donna Summers is what we need. Oh god. It's uh, man. I'll need to eat that, edit that in then. Oh no! <laughs> when I'm putting the video together. You see, all I do is when I eat them, I get this, I get the, I get the... Oh! Oh, you thwomp that thwomp. So you can kill a thwomp. Yes, you can. You can kill it. Oh! You can kill a thwomp with hammers too. Really? Yeah, when you get the Hammer Brothers suit, you can kill it. No, I did not realize that. I was always too scared. Of you can to you try. can kill thwomps with the Hammer Brothers suit. You can kill ghosts with the Hammer Brothers suit. I was always too afraid to try killing those things. I didn't realize you actually could. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. One, one, uno, dos, two, tres. three. Three. Boom. Alright. Alright, oh! so, right, so I think we're going to end part three right about there. Part uh, three. I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for part four. As always, keep on gaming.